So ASK uh, organises summer camps because uh, there is such a need from, uh, not just from the, the child's perspective, but from the parent's perspective, for their children to be able to work on, have fun, but also work on the goals that they have throughout the year. Uh, for, for children and young adults um, who have learning difficulties, consistency is key. And what tends to happen over the summer is a lot of the work that's done over the school year is lost. And so one of the aims of, of doing the summer camp is that children um, are able to have a continuous flow throughout the year of working on specific social or study skills goals. So um, another reason why ASK does summer camps is because often parents who um, have children with learning differences, um, it, you know, they have a work life and to find something appropriate for their child uh, during the summer and to give them a break also, the parents, um, that's one of the main reasons also that summer camps were created. And the the parents get a breather, they get to relax a bit, which is very important for them and for the well-being of the child. And this is um, definitely one of the key reasons why the summer camp was created. Um, we have many activities going on in the summer camp. Some people think too many. But um, as within the study skills and the social skills um, structure, there's many different uh, kind of uh, ideas, different kind of games, learning through play um, going on. Outside of that, we have, we go to the pool, um, we go on an outing at least once a week, we go on a big outing on, on a Wednesday afternoon where we take them out into, into Geneva. And um, it could be a museum, it could be going to a park or a playground, uh, it could be uh, bowling, we've been taking them out bowling. <clears throat> and this also gives the, the, the campers an opportunity to um, go and enjoy with their friends something that they might not normally be able to do uh, at, at home, you know. And we also have, oh, depending on the theme of the week, we have all kinds of uh, kind of silly games going on, experiments. Um, we have obstacle course where we get to work on, on motor skills. They don't know that. They're just having fun. Um, and uh, we have, during the morning greeting, we have um, kind of a circle where everybody gets to meet each other. Break times, we ask um, camper volunteers who are too young to be full volunteers, but um, uh, so they're assigned kind of as campers. But we get people who would normally, or the volunteers who would normally find it difficult to animate a group, we give them the opportunity also to grow and we ask them to, to find an activity that the whole group could do together. And this way we help to train the volunteers um, as well as the campers in how to bring themselves more out and how to interact with, with others. That's, that's one of the goals. So one of the main activities that we have is art. And this is not just for a, a, a way to keep the kids quiet. It's um, a, a, an environment where creative expression is um, given absolute freedom. And so this is very important for the campers because it can bring a lot of them, make them uh, a lot more grounded in the chaos of the camp. And art, they do so many different projects. And basically every area of life um, motor skills, communication skills, social skills can be worked on in the art room. And so this is a, a very important part of the, of the camp. Um, the biggest, but oh, there's so many benefits to the children for attending this camp. But I think one of the, uh, this kind of goes along with the activities. It's not really about the activities that we do. <clears throat> it's why we do it and how we do it. And all of the, uh, the activities and how we act with the, with the campers is based on, on a certain paradigm which sees every child as being special, 
hence the name All Special Kids. And the very essence of that <clears throat> um, l treats the child or the camper um, as a valuable member of society and we accept and celebrate who they are, for who they are, and what they can do. Now, this is very important because a lot of their lives is dominated by being identified for what they can't do, so deficit-oriented, and we are resource-oriented. So <clears throat> what, a what a camper gets to experience is to be in an environment where no matter what they do, they're valued. And this is new often for them. And in this environment, they can experiment. It's like a laboratory. They can experiment um, being themselves. And they can find out in a very loving way what is appropriate and what is not. Um, so we don't have uh, judgment. We don't um, focus on what they can't do. Like I said, we want to give them a view of themselves as somebody who is an achiever, somebody who is um, a valued member of society, like I said, and someone that is useful and fun. We want them all to connect with this side of themselves because it's a side that maybe they don't see that often. One of the main benefits that the, the campers then get from this environment is <clears throat> to see themselves in a, in a more flexible and and loving light, so they get self-esteem, and they can trust in their own intuition as, as to what is okay or not. And we find that, that the campers grow more and grow better in this kind of environment than in an environment that is telling them no and yes, what is right and wrong. We give them the chance to find out for themselves what is right and wrong, and in that, the learning happens instantly. Within the experience that they have at the camp, they learn more than if we tell them what they should be doing. And so this is one of the main benefits that they get. They get to grow in a healthy way.